Okay, I was waiting for a package and I got it. It's a little project I'm going to do because it's boring winter time here. Um, this is a 10 foot female lighter socket with a rubber proof casing around it because it's sort of for boats and that. But it's 10 foot, it's 30 amp, comes with the fuses and the fuse holder and it's 12 gauge wire. And what I want to do is I want to take it from my box. Um, that's where my uh, EcoFlow um, little battery pack goes. So when it gets low after using it and we start driving, it can be charged by a car or cigarette lighter. So I want to put a, a lighter inside there, like a, a socket, and run it through. And because uh, I'm finished and didn't think of this before, but need it I can take that baseboard off and tuck my wire under it and through a hole down there as you can see and then I'll drill a hole somewhere and mount that socket and then I'll have to take up the carpet in the front and uh, 10 feet should get me under the carpet through the hole out to the battery and then that way I'm hooking right straight to the battery I have 12 volt power over here for the lights in the cabinet, but I only have a 16 gauge wire on it and I don't really want to attach it to this. So I'm going to go with right to the front without drilling any holes or damaging the van. And that should work out cool. I also was waiting for, I did the LED switch out on all my lights. And these are the replacement bulbs for fog lights. And uh, they fit right in, they say. They look a little long, so I'm not sure if they're going to fit in the glass. Uh, less power. It says anywhere from 40 to 80% less power. So they don't get as hot like fog lights. And sometimes my toggle switch always felt warm. I was always nervous of using them. So I'm hoping this... Um, I'll make it so I can run the running lights, or fog lights, or driving lights, as the bulb says. And that's the other project. So I'm going to take a, I got a new set of running lamp fog lights. I'm just going to put them bulbs, transfer out the halogen bulb. So I uh, took apart a couple pieces of trim down here, right on the edge. And then I just ran the wire behind this baseboard back here. I guess I'm not doing a very good job. The baseboard will go across, tucked it under the carpet. And I'm going to go across under the rumber vat, and there's a hole up there. And um, run it out to the cab. And then come back and fix up the trim. So the wire is under the carpet. And in these dodges, just under the gas pedal, there's a hole, quite a large hole, it usually has a cap in it. And I ran one wire through there for my console, I'm going to run these two through there and cover it and put most of it, I know it's stepping range. So I tucked it back under, put it through the hole, put my mat down, so, and I ran it in the least areas that I step. I'm going to clean up the trim and uh, put it back on. Got a little wire there. I got a cover but it'll be underneath the chrome and out to the front. So came through the hole right there. There's one of the red ones and the black ones in there somewhere right there. And Put them up to the battery and gonna get ready to hook them on. But before we do any of that, I gotta drill out and mount my female socket. Okay, so I drilled a hole in um, the base there, poked the wires through. That's the deepest spot, and the, um, the actual, where is it? The actual thing is quite quite big, long, but I need enough to thread on it. So what I ended up doing was getting a piece of wood, 
Uh, it was already kind of finished. It's in the cupboard anyways. And I drilled a little bigger hole first. And that'll countersink inside to get me to the distance I want so that the wires can plug in without being too tight on the, on the wall. So if I put that through, connect those wires, first I got to put this ring back on the wires on the other side first and poke the wires through. See? And then I'll tighten it up and then that should hold that and that's going to be right where I need it. Okay, so the whole idea didn't work. It, I would have had to build it out so much that I would have taken up my about an inch or more of my space, an inch. So I kind of put it on a couple pieces of wood. Oh, there goes my light. And uh, yeah, I screwed it in there and it's off in the corner so it doesn't take up too much room. And I just plug in my inverter, which is at home for emergencies. Right on, so bury that red wire and uh, oh well, the hole can be used for other wiring. So test, one, two, three, and the fan works. So basically an hour, every car, every van is different, so not too hard. Two wires, one to the positive, one to the negative, simple, plug in safe, fused, air conditioner, clip on air conditioner, comes in handy on them really hot nights, not made for that there, but I can use it for that, I usually plug it up front into my, uh, up there into the batter, uh, into the old cigarette layer. So up on this end, I added just two nuts to the end of the bolts rather than disturbing the connectors, connectors there. So basically that's it, $15 cost and I'll share that on my description. And it was simple and you don't have to be a whiz, just one solid connection right up. So no cuts under the carpet where you don't walk. Or step too much and out to the unit and went in without drilling holes on this vehicle so yours might be different but you can find a way in okay now that I'm finished with um, running everything it's basically what I ordered and uh, I'll list that in the description I'm gonna move to the fog light, running light. These are new, so I'm just going to pop the bulb out. And uh, that's the older bulb. Quite powerful bulb. And then there's a new one. Same setup. Basically, just different ends. So you might have to clip, take it off. I have a plug for that type now. I'll have to switch it to that. And should just fit right in like it inside. So I'm going to take this cover off with the two screws. And then there's the bulb. And that ground wire was connected to that screw hole, which I've taken off. And now all I got to do is slip the bulb out. So I slipped the bulb out. Come out quite easy. And then I'm going to push it through the back of, pull it through and just stick the new one through. Okay, so I slipped it through. The ground wire's there, ready to screw on to the little hole there once I push the bulb through. The only thing you might have to do is take that little clip there and bend it a little bit because these are a little longer to go inside. Okay, the bulb's in. I hooked up the ground wire back to the little nut. It fit nicely inside the glass. You can see all the lights on the end, the sides. I'm not sure how 
bright it is, but I know it's not going to get as hot as my fog light as one of these bulbs. Okay, putting that back together, and then I might do a little test before I put it on the van. And this is going on the 76, not the 78. And um, both vans I changed out with all the new LED bulbs, so might as well do these. So all in all, the changeover is quite easy. They do just go right in. A little bending of the prong that holds it in place. And switching out plug on the end and uh, fit these fog light driving lights that you buy at you know, local um, car places. And they're not that expensive. 39 bucks Canadian. They're nice and shiny so I'll replace my other ones and uh, make sure I tighten these up nice the lenses because I had got water in the other ones. But that was after like five, six years. So we're going to do a little test on a battery and see how bright it is. I know before you couldn't touch it after it was on for a while. So looking to see that should be a big difference. So I've got the one on and it's quite a white light. I'm going to aim it down to the road. And then that's more like an amber. So that's the halogen bulb. And that's the LED bulb. White light, amber light. So because I just replaced them with a similar light, all I have to do is remove the light from the bracket and put it into the bracket without moving bolts. Now I'll wait and see how long and give it a few minutes and see if this gets warm. Cold, cold. I can't touch that already. Like, I'm not kidding, it's getting hot already. So, this is like cold as ice. So, it won't crack a lens when it rains and you run them, so we'll see. I'll just point them low to the road. Okay, up and running both of them. Nice white light, very bright. I'm going to definitely aim them down. Should be not bad. So replacement bulbs for your old school fog lights. They're like 15 bucks, slipped in nice, and they don't get hot. It's the best part. Not even close, not, nothing, nada. Signing off.